a bunch of us to come and um, sort of like a homecoming. And Aaron called me to do this concert. I said, okay, man, let's go. We're planning on having a really good time with the people tonight. My name is Tim Duffy, and this is my wife, Denise Duffy. And we started Music Maker in 1994, learning about how to truly partner with artists and, and, and working with so many um, elderly artists that felt they had been done wrong by the previous systems. I thought I would take the audacity to come up with a new model for dealing with American folk culture by partnering with artists and making decisions with the artists and then helping them. Uh, anything Tim and Denise are involved in, I want to be a part of. My old friend Rufus Thomas used to say on his radio shows, if you don't dig the blues, you've got a hole in your soul. And I know that there's no hole in any soul in this room because we're all gathered here to honor Tim and Denise and the beautiful work they do with Music Maker Foundation. When you're left with, do I make music or do I pay for my food? It's, those are tough decisions that a lot of people have made and they chose the food because that's essentially what you need. And so Music Maker is really built on the idea of being able to give a hand up and not a hand out. And it is a unique model because we found that not only did, did artists need business resources to get to a stage, but then we found people had these, these social needs. So we're a hybrid of an arts organization and a human services organization. And that is a, a new and different model. After 25 years, what I've learned is that it works. We are here to celebrate what is really a magical crossroads in their offices it's a kind of spiritual center. I also want to commend Duke University for their vision in embracing these amazing programs. This is a partnership that will be very powerful for everyone involved. There's, there's a, lot, a big story to tell with a lot of different, a lot of different pieces. And uh, you know, one thing we were excited about doing in here was giving the community an opportunity to immerse themselves in it so they could put the pieces together. This wonderful exhibit that Kimber Hines and Joel Johnson put together that, that uh, tells the story of many of the artists that we've worked with. This has been a long journey, and this has been incredible. It's been amazing. It's how it's all come together and to see everybody interact with it has been great. This took me back to when my father used to, my father was a photographer. He loved taking family portraits and seeing some of these reminded me of that. And that's how I tried to, how I tried to treat the experience of people going through it like they were going through a, a, a family album. Take my shoes off. Can I take my shoes off? They got you back on your feet you know, to, to, to help you get back started again. They say the party's jumping, everybody's having a good time. You know what's going to do, mama. Do you mind if I get comfortable? Most of us, we, we're like, we're like monks. But in the music business, we go out there, we do what we do, we're good at what we do, we entertain people, and we don't get paid a whole lot of money for it. And it has nothing to do with your talent because you could really be talented. So when people like you come in and, and, and help us, that's great. I'm a living witness that Music Makers is a very good cause. And, and we, as artists, we're not, we're not all like bums or anything like that. It's like some of us just have situations just like everybody has a situation, but some situations are deeper than other people's situations. We, of course, know that it's critical to support these musicians and to support their art, 
even though the music business uh, may not have a true home for them. So an organization like Music Maker is really revolutionary. Those guys are wonderful. I had a house fire uh, August, and uh, I wanted to buy a Roland accordion, and I asked him to buy me one. He did. That's what they do, they take care of the musicians. You know, you call them, and they're coming. They're coming to your aid, for real, for real. What Music Maker is doing is social justice, and it is restorative, it is trying to correct a wrong of ours in the past, and I believe that they're doing what's right and what is owed. People love to look back on anniversaries and it is a beautiful time to reflect and think, you know, all these, these artists and, and we do that, but it's also how do we look towards the future. Uh, you know, people like to say that the blues is dead or dying, Well, we find new artists all the time. Like Dr. Bill Ferris likes to say, you know, this is a model that should be replicated in every city in America and beyond. Music maker. They didn't make the music. They helped the artists continue to make the music. To record these voices is to say that these indigenous voices are historically and culturally the foundation of our nation's history and music. What this organization is in a nutshell is, is acknowledging your heritage, even if it's not necessarily my granddaddy that played the blues or that that's, that's my background. But in, in a way, a lot of these folks are my granddaddy, they're my grandmother, and they're our country's granddaddies and grandmothers, and that those people are, the, those people are offering something for you to be able to, to pass on and to just make, our, make the fabric of our very, very complex and complicated culture stronger. Just keep playing it, keep it around. Keep playing it. Don't stop playing it. Even if you're not playing with anybody but by yourself, keep playing it.